Hey guys, so I just finished recording the blocks, placing blocks on air video that you might have seen. I don't know if you did. Uh, hopefully you did. If you didn't, it will be annotated on the screen right now. Uh, anyway, this is the video I was just about to record before that video. I know, kind of kind of confusing, but yeah. <laughs> and what it is is it's a very very compact randomizer. Now, this design over here can be expanded up to nine outputs from a single input, of course. And let me demonstrate it working. So, if I'll stand on it, I shall get a random effect, just like this. If I'll jump on it again. I will get speed. Yeah, splendid. And uh, let me jump on it again. And I get jumpist again. Don't worry, there are indeed four outputs. Let me jump on it again. Oh, got slowness. So it is randomized. I'm not lying to you guys. It is fully randomized, fully customizable. Even the odds can be customizable. So yeah. Okay, so let's go over the redstone behind it, and then I'll show you an enhanced version. So, okay. It all starts from this dropper. This dropper is facing to this hopper chain, going to the right over here. This actually is the beginning of a sorting system. So it's from these hoppers, that includes the sapling in this case, but it can be pretty much any random item. And... It's basically your basic one wide tileable sorting system. That's basically it. And it leads into this hopper chain trainee thing over here, leading to these two droppers. You can see a sapling in here. It's missing from here, but that's totally okay. Because what we have going on in here is a really really clever circuit that I like a lot. I don't really know who it's by. I saw it in a Mambo Jumbo video, but it's not by him. So if you know who designed this one over here, give me a link in the video mm -hmm. description. Bl in the video description, in the comments, and I'll make sure to give him the rights he deserves for this amazing design. So what it does is it makes this dropper rapidly shoot out what's inside it. And as well, it powers this one. So that's kind of a bonus, but it does leave one of it at the end. So that's fine, because when the next item comes in, this one will be transported out, and the next one will stay stuck in here. So it basically just this kind of a loop. And yeah, your outputs can be taken either from these blocks, as I did from these command blocks, or you can just, you know, take these and lead a repeater out, or lead, it, or you can use, let's see, you can use torches, and do whatever you want. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the presentation part of this video, and now, Let's crack on with the tutorial. Okay guys, welcome to the tutorial part of this video. Over here in this chest, you've got all the components you need for this build, so let's go over it. For the basic two output design, cause, well, you don't really want one output, otherwise what's the sake of this thing? You're gonna need seven redstone dust, two redstone repeaters, two, uh, two, yeah. Two redstone torch, uh, torches, four redstone comparators, nine hoppers, three droppers, one pressure plate or any basic input, nineteen building blocks, and well, I use pretty much stack. You don't really need the minimum required is two of these blocks or items, but 
I do recommend to use a stack for any accidents that may happen. Not there will be, but anyway. So, you're gonna need different sorting blocks or <coughs> items. So yeah, that's not the cheapest design to build in survival or stuff, but it's not designed to be cheap, it's designed to be compact, so have that in mind. Now for two outputs it's not that compact, but when you actually take it up to nine outputs it's a, it's pretty compact for what it does. Now, for every extra output you want to add, up to nine outputs obviously, you're gonna have to need two redstone dust, t uh, one repeater, one torch, one comparator, four hoppers, five building blocks, and you know your sorting blocks or items. So let's actually grab some of these and begin. So what I'm gonna build right over here in this prepared space is the actual, you know, only one output, but I'm going to show you how to expand it to two outputs, so that shouldn't be a problem. So, let's go a few blocks high over here, Grab like this, and we're going to actually set our dropper. Uh, actually, let's go one block less, our dropper, and chuck in the sorting blocks. Now, what you want to do is you want to go as far as you want, output wise. So we only want one, so we're just gonna go one. Actually, we want let's build two for the sake of the tutorial. So you're gonna need two hoppers. Now, you're gonna take your building blocks and go place them like that. And you're gonna place comparators on it facing this way. Now you're gonna use hoppers and face them using shift and right click into the comparators. The comparators have to be on normal mode. Now place your building blocks in front of the comparators this way and then place building blocks under the comparators this way. Place building blocks like this and place repeaters on them facing into the blocks you placed recently. Now place blocks behind these repeaters and place your redstone dust running on all of these blocks. Now, place your redstone torches on these tor on these blocks right over here and this creates your sorting your well, your sorting system. Now, what you've got to do is you've got to pretty much set every block you want here and run your hoppers to it. Now, over here you want to place two droppers facing up just like that and then run hoppers into them right in this row and this basically is you done with the hoppers and the droppers now the circuit you want to add from the side in here is basically you want to take input out of this dropper over there and lay it into a block and you wanna place some dust here and dust there block here and block there and block there as well you want your block there with a comparator use dust to connect these two and put this one on subtract mode subtract subtract it blah, blah. Now, let me get just one more of these sorting blocks. Now, what you want to do is you want to grab these and you want to grab exactly 22 out of them. If, you know, they stack up to 64, what they basically should, because they are junk. And took 23. Alright. Now, you want to come to these hoppers right over here. And you want to just drag your right click all the way across and then chuck the whole thing in the beginning. So you'll have 18 and then one in each other slot. And do the same thing in the other one and that is you done. That's it. Wasn't that hard, wasn't it? Now to add your input, all you have to do is place your block above 
this over here, this dropper, and that's basically your input. So it can be a pressure plate, a button, lever, whatever you want, a repeater, basically whatever you want. Just saying. And yes, that's you done with this basic thing. You can make your outputs out of here like this. You can place torches like that. Or you can have blocks over here that take the redstone out output from the blocks above them. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial part of this video. And now, I'll have a bit of a bonus part for you guys where I'm actually gonna showcase something pretty cool I've built using this concept and I hope you're gonna love it so see ya over there hey guys and welcome back so we're at, a, at the third and final bonus part of this video where I'm gonna showcase this beast this monstrosity look at it look at it look at its glory over here we have a randomizer just like the one I showed you before in fact it's right it's built right in here but this time the output capability is 81 outputs so you can insert one input and get one of 81 random outputs which in my, opi or my opinion is incredible I just love this machine. Now, I gotta tell you one thing. I haven't tested it yet. In theory, it's working. I have never tested it. I just built it. But let me just explain you everything behind it. I will, for obvious reasons, not make a tutorial about this. But I will show you what's gonna happen in here. So, I'm actually gonna prepare something right down at the bottom of these hoppers and come back to you when it's done okay guys I'm back and what I've done right over here is I've color coded the hoppers tracks so we can follow them around later but let's go on to the key features first and how they actually work out so over here you can see the design I taught you how to build earlier and what you can see is this time the actual uh, wow how do they call it? repeaters are placed on hoppers which is a change and yes so let's actually go on about how this works so this time the output the actual output is are actually these droppers that drop it into this hopper stream over here going into an even bigger sorting system so technically it can pretty much go on and go on forever if you want it to and if you're well crazy enough to actually build it so you can actually place more droppers over here and have it go 81 times 9 outputs out of one input. It will be pretty slow though because the input has to travel all the way from the end of the, of the actual hopper stream to the start of it. But yeah. Okay, so you have your, your starting system normal and then here comes the changes or the main one so I've color coded the actual hoppers over here so you can see where they're headed so these hoppers are actually headed into this hopper right over here this one that is facing it the, into this dropper that includes the circuit we discussed about before that leads up to this stream of hoppers leading into this dropper the one the item oh whoops the one the item actually came from and now I can place it down oh that's terrific let's do it this way can I no oh my god yes okay 
so sorry for that. So yeah, you can actually see I cut it from up above. And you can see how every time the items from these three are actually coming into one dropper. You can see it fairly well with the purple one. And then this is activated placing the item over here. Then it travels all the way and comes right back through these into the dropper. Now you might be thinking, oh wait squid, these torches are actually locking the hoppers. And you will be right. But because of the way the system works, the torches will be off once the actual output is activated. So, whenever the output is activated and an item comes out of this dropper, an item will go into this dropper. Which means that there will be a cycle and all the items that came out of it will eventually come back in, one at a time. So it shoot out, it shoot out one, it tr travels all the way back into this kind of pick a point, it's used again, and then the item comes back and a new one goes out. So it's basically infinite. And I believe it's pretty cool. So it's basically one system, 81 outputs. If you want to build it yourself, please link your video in the video. Uh, in actually, as a comment video, as a video response to this video, as I'm running around breaking wool and uppers, actually, good to know. Where on earth? That one. Okay, this way. And yes, so let me create the worst outro ever for you guys. Saying, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you love this video, please subscribe and build this gigantic machine yourself to show me how much you love me and your mom, because you love your mom. You don't love your mom? then it's too bad. You still have to subscribe. Because that's how I roll. So, <laughs> subscribe, like the video, it supports my channel. And yeah, watch my other videos, some of which will be linked on the screen right now. If you want to contact me in any way, for any reason, if you actually want to contact me about redstone and ask me questions, that's okay. If you contact me about command blocks, that's okay. If you want to tell me just love me, that's okay. Because we all know you do. If your father abuses you and you just need to talk to someone, then go talk to a psychologist because I'm not one. So don't talk to me. But anyway, subscribe like, support me, donate, no, actually don't donate, and I will see you in the next video, bye bye.